In October 2019, we announced the Pine Time as a side project. This was positioned as a device that complements the Pine Phone, and the hardware was simple with a square body and a FOSS friendly SOC. At the time, we weren't sure if it would take off. It was sort of a side project. We kind of tossed the bottle into the sea to see what would happen. Well, users and developers alike ended up being interested in the idea of a FOSS smartwatch. JF was one of these developers, and they are the main developer of AffiniTime, the default OS for the Pine Time. AffiniTime was originally started as a personal project by JF with the goal of integration with their home automation. It took a lot of work, including low-level drivers, working on the user interface, and integrating the Bluetooth stack and over-the-air updates, but eventually it got to where it is now. Originally, the firmware was just called My Project, then Pinetime-JF. But as it became more popular in the Pinetime community, many people, users and developers alike, joined in on the contributions, and then the name became less appropriate due to the popularity. So, that's how the name AffiniTime was born. Soon after, we got joined by other projects like Amazfish and GadgetBridge for companion apps that let you connect your Pinetime with your Android or Linux smartphone. They added support for the Pine Time very early on, and they're still working closely with the AffiniTime team in order to provide more features. Well, recently JF realized AffiniTime already has all of the essential features and can now be considered an enthusiast-grade end-user product. With this realization, the race began on AffiniTime 1.0. Well, today we are at the finish line with a full 1.0 release of AffiniTime. This version of AffiniTime has an analog and digital watch face, multiple apps including a stopwatch, a music controller, map navigation, heart rate monitor, step counter, user settings, over the air updates with the help of MCU boot, 3 to 5 days of battery life, and syncing with Android and Linux phones thanks to GadgetBridge, Amazfish, and Siglo. Of course, version 1.0 does not automatically mean that it's completely bug-free, or that it can compete with mainstream smartwatches. However, AffiniTime is a firmware that enthusiasts can use as a daily driver without needing programming experience. As a result, AffiniTime will be the first version of the firmware which allows Pine64 to sell sealed Pine Times as an enthusiast-grade end-user product, and you can now buy individual sealed Pine Times in the Pine Store. But AffiniTime is not your only option on the Pine Time. There are many other projects available, and all of them deserve attention from the user base. But we would like to highlight WaspOS, a MicroPython based firmware with many functions and very easy to program thanks to Python. We would also like to highlight PineTime Lite, a fork of AffiniTime from Waquim. Waquim added a lot of nice features and improvements, many of which were brought back upstream to AffiniTime. We would like to thank everyone who participated in the project, as this is an open source project with a strong community emphasis, and every contribution counts. Whether you fix a typo in the documentation, write a major feature for the firmware, or just help people debug issues in the chat, this is something we built together and is something to be proud of.